Hope you enjoy everyone. Thanks for watching this. I don't get my latest review new uh, on Mobile Suit Gundam Iron Blood Orphan Season 2 Episode 6. Yeah, it's Silent War. After the, if, you, if you guys didn't know, I didn't know what happened in, in, in the last episode. There's going to be some spoiler alert. I also did a, a, a breakdown slap review slash breakdown video you know, on you know, on the first five episodes of Season 2. Since I didn't have time to review it all in one episode. All in each episode, I came in late, so I did it all in one episode. Uh, it's kind of a breakdown and analysis anyway, uh, it's of what's going to happen next. Anyway, let's get started. All right, all right. right now, uh, after the events of the last episode, there was an assassination attempt, and people got hurt. Uh, one of the Tekken members, Chad, got sent to the hospital. He was basically the leader of the Earth Division. He got sent to the hospital. Uh, hospital. Uh, so, uh, Takaki remembers is now in charge, charge, but not directly in charge, but assuming command for the moment. He and Austin has to, Austin, uh, right now, are trying to maintain order. Uh, uh because of that, the SAU and the Op, uh, have declared war. Uh, and they, uh, and right now, now they're trying to fight, even though they have no idea who set up the bomb at all. Basically, it was a setup uh, to use them and to start wars as a new conflict. This is, this is pretty problematic for them, because, you know, Tekken, you know, has gotten a lot of attention in the short time it became established as a true military band. They got new members, and they got a lot more people working with them, so they got a lot of eyes on, right on them because of what they did, and because of Gallahorn being scrutinized and also working with them. This is going to be very difficult, well, for them, and especially since, and since their main force is up on Mars and they're on Earth. And so it's going to take them some time for reinforcements to get there. Yeah. Yeah. And they already know that they're in a bit of a situation. And it's not their fault. People, someone's using them and, and set them up. So they're being forced to fight in a war or that's not their making. I mean, they're all, and remember, all right, in, this, in this show, this, uh, in this series, just, there's a lot of slavery, discrimination, and fighting, and violence, you know, overall. It reminds me of several other... Or Gundam series I'm a fan of, like uh, Mobile Suit Gundam Double O, uh, oh, uh, Mobile Suit Gundam the original series, uh, Gundam Wing, and several other things that you know, that are tough, unique. You know, I'm a fan of Kogias, Guru Lagan. You can think about that uh, when you d look at this video. No, it's definitely very unique to the story hey, because you know it's definitely not going to help. They're also being aided by a man named Miss, um, hey, him named Garland. In Garland, but he's a, he's kind of a mercenary, but he's in on the plot, and he's basically trying to motivate these kids. They like use them, and to motivate them, to use them as tools for fighting. Basically, he's trying to motivate them into starting this war, or or and use them, and um, to encourage their anger uh, into what happened. Even though, and he's in on it. And the, the reason why, not so much information on it is because there's a guy who's in Tekken. I think his name is Mr. Kolesser or something. Um, I don't have his proper name. I'll name I'll. Right, but he's a member of Tekken. He was sent over by the Tewas groups. But he, the way he talks down and lonely to them, saying that they're a bunch of brats. It's obvious he doesn't respect them. I mean, he wouldn't help him be involved in this whole plan, and if he didn't, and so he's basically trying to feed them information from the inside. Well, go and works from the outside. They're basically trying to destroy the. And te and these guys have and these Tekken guys have already lost a lot of men to the fighting, and to the battle, which is a pretty grim thought. Uh, I I feel sorry for these guys because they're forced to fight in a war that was not their fault. They're just basically they they were just there when the when the when the shot was fired and somebody and somebody got grazed by the bullet, uh, and unfortunately that person ended up getting hurt in the hospital. So they're being forced to fight out of protest, or well, not more out of protest, just you know dragged into something. I mean, it's not uh, that they're making, and now they don't know who to blame. Now, however, this is not. Now, however, they're starting to suspic be suspicious. Like, for example, each person is fighting, but they, uh, but neither has made contact or asked for a surrender because they know that because they know that something fishy. They just don't know who it is. And people, even people in Gallarhorn, like McGillis, McGillis, who used Tekken to get in. <coughs> uh, sorry, uh, to get in and use them and to help. Of them in their efforts, has become has starting to understand that things are getting problematic as well. So for the first time ever, McGillis, you know, in a while, he's stepping into the battle, you know, which means and since McGillis has basically put a lot of support in Tekken, that makes him a prime target as well. 
for certain reasons, you know. I don't know the reason who those reasons are. Why? Let's just say people people don't trust him as much as she as they should, you know. You know, uh, for certain reasons, you know. Uh, that's one of the things about this series: is discrimination, slavery. A, you know, it's a lot more emotional than most other Gundam shows. It's also a lot darker than most Gundam shows. For example, they killed a guy, killed the guy and took over. All right, this is a spoiler alert for the first season. They killed all the people who treated them like trash and took over uh, their work and became soldiers, you know, overall. Uh, they're basically a coup d'etat, you know. That's spoiler for season one, you know. It's definitely very uh, unique when you see it. However, the Tekken group, the main Tekken force, they know about the situation, so they're going to be sending help. Even though the Arbor, uh, the Everest group is forbidding them because of state of emergency to keep them out, they don't care. They're going to do their best. To, they're going to land on that planet, and they're going to fight, and they're going to understand who and what uh, and how this happened. Because uh, someone took a child at a Tekken member uh, and them, that means that this is going to be personal. And if they find out there's a traitor on this, Boy, that guy's gonna be done for. They're gonna be done for. They're gonna they're gonna find out who and what, who and who and how they did it, and they're gonna make sure they pay for it. You know, trust me. I I've seen how I've seen how serious Tekken can be in this show, and I've seen all the episodes of Tekken himself of Iron Blooded Orphan so far. It's, if this is if you're into greedy, emotion brave action, action and slavery and mis hey and and understanding and trying to find freedom. This reminds me of so many elements like Coke Geass, Geass, uh, Gurren Lagann. This is a good. This is a. This is an anime Gundam series that you should watch. If you haven't, then you're missing out. And if you haven't, if you're not watching it. Hey, well then, I'm and I'm sorry for you. <laughs> sorry for you. I mean, it's a good show. Anyway, that's all I gotta say. Thank you for listening. And they, I, I, if you want to listen to more of my. On my Gundam videos, I posted a new playlist called Momosu Gundam, I Am One of the Orphans. And so I posted a new playlist for Gundam. And so you can listen to my first episode, my review on the first season, as well as the review I made of the first five episodes of season two. Anyway, that's all I have to say. Hope you enjoyed. Thanks for watching. This is Tolomon Adams, give my list. You are an Iron Bullet Orphan, season two, episode six. Silent War. I'm out. Peace. Bye.